Hi, I'm Jason Reed, and this is Game Changers with Vicki Abelson. How are you doing today, Vicki? I'm good. I'm Vicki. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Jason. And, you know, eventually Last we're going to... Last time I checked. Yeah, eventually <laughs> we're going to figure this stuff out. So, Jason, um, yesterday was a little crazy. Um, so... I, I, I hate when you guys see me like doing things, but I'm, I'm just going to the, to, I'm going live to the videotape. It's not a videotape, it's live. But I'm going to the thing, and you can do it on the, on the iPad so you can see too. Jack Hoffman's here, Damian Gray is here. Okay, so we are in the home of Judy Tenuta, the love goddess, the Aphrodite of the accordion. She ha Judy has coined more phrases than the 12 steps on steroids. I mean, I, um, it could happen. I have said it could happen since the day, the first day I heard her say it, but I always credit her on Facebook. I always say Judy Tenuta. I always do it, and now I can tag her because now we're Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. I met Judy recently. Um, not a happy day. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Mary Willard, uh, who was a mutual friend, oh, passed yeah. away, and we met at at Mary's uh, service mm -hmm. and um, a somber, but um, but fortuitous. But fortuitous time. in that I got to meet Judy, and I had already we had already become Facebook friends. And um, before we get into Judy, and boy, are we going to get into Judy? <laughs> that sounds so dirty. Okay, so I want to talk to you first about the people who helped me do this, and my hairdresser, who I'm going to tell Judy about because I was talking about it. Nicole Venables. This woman is a genius. She works on Man with a Plan, and she works on Will and Grace. She's the hairdresser, right? Okay, she does Megan's hair. And um, anyway, she has this hair, so she does my hair at the Ruby Begonia Salon. And does the name Ruby Begonia like, you remember that? Ruby Begonia. So anyway, she has hairspray, look what it's called. It's called Fuck Off. I love her, <laughs> except she has an asterisk. I don't put an asterisk, I just say it. But anyway, she has this great, she has great products that you can get at the Ruby Begonia Salon, or you could get them at friendsbeautysupply.com. I love Nicole, she's amazing. And and then Rick Smolke, who is my hero, my God. He. He has been a supporter of everything that I've done since day one. Women who write 10 years, sending me all this swag. So look, Mackenzie Phillips came and read to us and made us cry. And so people said, you should have Rick make you tissue boxes. He did it. He made <laughs> tissue boxes. We have our own tissue boxes. I'm going to put it here so it's not in our way. I'm going to leave that for Judy. He made my bookmarks. He makes my business cards. Anything you need, you go to Rick Smokey at quickimpressions.com from Chicago, where Judy's from, and he's going to take such good care of you. He's amazing. And he's just like the best. He's like the salt of the earth. He, he does so much philanthropic stuff. He, he gives stuff away. He's, he's just a, a good person, and so he'll be very good to you. He's, that's just the way he is, and everybody who works there is just fabulous. And um, I also just want to quickly say that, um, so I have sort of a new association and so um, yesterday was our first um, venture together. It's a site called Upworthy, and uh, their sister site, Good. And uh, Eric, the, um, the editor, who's a fantastic person, um, put women who write up on the Upworthy site. And we just, um, not just, earlier today, we broke 50,000 views. And we had 32,000 live people. We were performing at Shea Stadium and then wow. some yesterday. So it turns out there's some, some technical things that have to be worked out with going live on Facebook and putting it on there. And so we're not, we're not on their site today, but you know, hopefully we'll be able to work it out. So we'll be doing that um, ongoing, but I am going to be writing for them, and um, it's very, it's a, and I manifest. That's terrific. I manifested it, Jason, because yes, I've been did. talking about manifesting, yes, right, have. every week? Every week. And on my way, and I met, and on my way to a place where I saw him later, I manifested where I need, a, I need a place to put the videos, I need a place to write, and there he was, and boom, bam, manifestation in, in, in an hour. Two hours. What a resounding success. Right? It's she amazing. Yeah, yeah really. it's amazing. So, it. you know, these are opportunities, and it, opportunities don't mean that things are going to be forever. Opportunities mean that I get an opportunity to screw up my stuff and to, to put my best foot forward. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. And if it's not, then everything is good. And, you know, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic. I have a really good feeling. And to be honest with you, having 50,000 people see women who write, and see these artists perform is beyond my, it's not beyond my wildest dreams because I want 50 million, but it, it is up there with, <laughs> uh, with high dreams. 
Um, it's, it really is really fantastic. And I'm so grateful to Eric for this opportunity. It's amazing and to Upworthy. Um, and so check out that site. It's a great news site. What they do is they, they do the news, but then they also do opinion on the news. But I'm going to be writing personal essay on a place where it's mostly n news with opinion. So anyway, that's going to, um, yeah, that's going to be happening. So I'm excited about that opportunity. But I'm, what I'm really excited about is that we're in Judy Tenuta's house. Yes, we are. And so we pull up, and out she comes in all of her fabulous <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, I'm so coming. I'm so coming. I'm so coming. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So I'm not listing your credits. We're going to talk. I love you. Wow. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, you have to yeah. genuflect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I'm going to have to kneel officially. Yeah, kneel down. No. That's what men are supposed to do. You know now. And they're a and they're, and they're stud puppet. He's a stud puppet. He's a stud-sickle. A stud puppet. A stud -sickle. I never heard that. You yeah, that that. Oh, I have a lot of them. Oh, God. I have so many names. I'm yeah. telling you. You have literally coined more expressions than the 12 steps on steroids. You have. You. All right. Wait. I want to go through some of them because oh if I tried to remember them all, I would. Okay. It could happen, which I always say. Well, wait a minute. I get to say I uh, Say oh. them all. Say. No, no, okay. No. Here's my list. Say oh, them okay. all. Oh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, oh. oh. It can happen. Hey, pigs. Um, and uh, oh, stud puppets. Well, stud sickles. Uh, what is that one? Oh, oh, I oh. am. No, wait. I am Judy, and my religion is Judaism with a Y. And guess what? I am your best Judy. No more Judys in this universe but me, right? You're, you're my only Judy. That's right. Yeah, Thank you. You're, Good you're, answer. You are my only Judy. And when I tried to type Judaism, yeah. spell check tried to correct me. Get rid of the Y. Oh, uh, I know. Uh, no, no, right? I, oh, I had I, I trained my phone. She kept going J U D I I don't want them getting mad at me with the Kogel. I want my Kogel. Oh, I could have brought you Kogel. We have Kogel, yes, sir. If oh you, when God. you come to women who write, Penny makes the best Kogel. Am I Kogel. lying? Kogel! It's the best. It's but I have to be Google. careful because it's a lot of carbs. Okay. And, you, and I just want to say, you can't see her body. You have to stand How up. How about this? She has got... How about this? She May has got... Hold, 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 hold your thing. Got okay, hand. look at her. Look at her! She is a specimen. She is gorgeous. Look at her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> no. she's, she, you're, it, it's, I, she's shocking. I, I, and look I at that with the that. thing. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, she's fantastic. No. Uh, no, you are. You're fantastic. Okay, so you have more. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Look at my. I have to look at my list. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm going to make them bigger. Well, because, you know. I have, I have other ones. Like <laughs> That's what he funny. said. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, okay, here. I'm, I'm like Sybil. I have 80. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, no, and also, okay. Oh, yeah. Go I, ahead. I'm the founder of Judaism. I'm Judy. And, of course, all men are love slaves. <laughs> and, um, oh, yeah, you cannot possess me. No. <laughs> that's good for that's good for Halloween. Because, oh. you know, there's a lot of ghosts around. <laughs> you know, you know that. Or they say. Um, yeah. Um, uh, and then we've, oh, oh, I'm the petite flower. And you're begging to pollinate me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, this is my favorite line. Oh. Wait, 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 what, wait. What happened? Here. Wait, wait. Oh, where did it go? Oh, no! Oh, um, oh here, an insult from me. An insult from me is like a blessing from the Pope. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bring out the pigs. An insult from me is like a blessing from the Pope. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, all right. So, all right. I'm so, what we, I'm sure the rest of them are going to just come out as we're talking. They're just going to come out. And, and Things will happen. And I also, it, it could yeah. happen. I, all, I love when you, um, I, I, I have just lost my train of thought because I'm, I'm, I'm too excited. Because we're all. mental. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the kingdom, queendom oh. of Judaism. What, what do you call your, your, your restroom? Oh, she. she it's she. I, 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 I do. I oh. say, oh, if you want to go. See her. She's right down that way. And I, and I have a few more, too. But, yeah, just so you know. <laughs> I the can't Romans, imagine. I'm so surprised to hear that. I love the Romans because they invented toilets. Okay. I just wanted to say that. All okay. Right. All right. So so now what I don't, okay, what I do know yeah. is that you made your debut with some, with someone that I adore. Another good friend of mine, Paula Poundstone. Yeah. Yes. And and mm -hmm. it was also Rita Rudner, who oh. I adore. Yeah. And wait, there was one more of you. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where, what happened to her? Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, my but God. I mean, what a power She's house. everywhere. 
What yeah. a powerhouse show that was, Ladies oh of the my Night, God. right? Oh. I still remember in the dressing room, it was so cute. So it's like this, like, it was so funny because Ellen was always running around. Yeah. And she, oh, she was she, hyper? Yeah. Well, not, not I don't want to say hyper. Yeah. She just didn't sit down. But, and, and I, uh, so Rita and I were, were in the mirror like, oh, we got to fix our <laughs> cheekbones. You know. and, um, oh, and, and Paula and, didn't care about that. Yeah, no, no. no. Paula, Paula just wanted to make sure her tie was straight. You know, so, but it was. But it was. It was great. Yeah. And then, and then. But, you know, Ellen was so cute. She's like, oh, are you going to play something? That I, yeah, I go, yeah, I am. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it, it was so, so much fun. So did you guys have any idea when you were doing that what was going to happen as a result of it? We just had so much fun. It was so cute. Uh, before... Uh, the guy, they, they do like a, a, I guess you call it a B-roll, just before right. we actually film. Right, right. And they, they put us pretend like we were in a little um, uh, soda shop. So it's like Paul, me, uh, Ellen, and, um, Rita. and Rita uh -huh. were all sitting there and talking about what we want to do. And the first thing out of Ellen's mouth, she goes, all I want to do is TV. And we were just laughing. Stop. Oh, I promise. <laughs> and, and, and hello. And guess well, what? It happened. Well, now, did she manifest that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, see, I should have said that more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Duh. Well, you've done. You've no, I have. Yes, yeah, you've people, done. Well, you know, you know, wherever I go, people know my name. Okay. All right, so Penny is saying it could happen, and, it is, and she's saying it could happen, and it is. I love her, I love her, I love her. Oh, my God. Norm is here. Who I can't see. Um, Norm! Jason, Jay, George is here. Jack is here. Barbara's Raw is here. Phil's here. Saying hi to everybody. Okay. Oh, Phil. Your fans. Wait, wait. What do you I call love them. them. They're your, your, you're, you're my, you're, you're my uh, uh, love puppets. <laughs> yeah, your you're love also puppets. love buckets. <laughs> you're also a stud. Uh, virgins and <laughs> virgins. Well, that's hard to be. That's like contradicting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stunsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Sub virgin. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, let's go back before we get to ladies of the night. Because, like, we, yeah. Oh, and I love the Judy, 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 Judy. So you are the only Judy. Um, so you're the only Judy that ever was. So. You're the only Judy that matters. Ooh. Oh, I am. You know, and I, I have a friend, Judy. I, I oh God. Okay. Right. Well, yeah, we gotta be careful. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So you were a little kid in Chicago. Oh my God, I was a delicate flower. You, you, I, was, I, I was. I, I, want, I have to show everybody that I wore my delicate flowers because we're here. Oh with, yay! We're here and with I am. Why not? Of yeah. course. My and I, I, I feel like a man. Next to you, what? I do look like a man. I do because you're, you're 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 hot. You're sexy. You're womanly. You're 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 just. But I'm petite. I'm you, a petite oh, flower. You are a petite flower. Can't... Okay, so when yeah. you were a really petite flower. Oh god. When you were a, a, a genuine. I, when I was an embryo flower. But, yes. Yes. Okay, so so you. Okay, so set the scene for us about growing up. Were you in a suburb oh in the oh, city? Oh, Where yes. were you? I will, oh, let's go back in time. Okay, so I'm, I'm a goddess. I'm really from Mount Olympus, but somehow, uh, you know, I got transplanted to Oak Park, Illinois, which, by the way, is also the home of Ernest Hemingway and Frank Lloyd Wright. So I like to sit in uncomfortable chairs and shoot moose. And so, you know... But it's a very historical city. Wow. I, I, I okay. love it. So, but here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, I was very shy, uh, believe it or not. You know, I, this is Because I had, I had six brothers oh. and a sister. Mm -hmm. And where and, do you fit into that? Uh, I, I, uh, like third. From okay. Third. And so You're I, in the middle. I, yeah, I, I had a do diapers and stuff. <laughs> anyway, but uh, so it was so cute because I grew up in, in the Chicago area. So my, I had all these brothers who were very... Blue collar Cubs Bears. That's oh, yes. it. Mm -hmm. so the Bears. I, all the time, though. See, I was always, I, I would hide in the closet and play my accordion. I am not kidding you. Okay, I, how did this start? Yeah. Well, see, I was about seven, and my mom and and, and my, my mom tried to make my older brothers play, but they didn't show any aptitude. Now, why so, did your mother? Why was your mother into? Because accordion? she's from Poland. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Okay, so now you have. 
have a petite accordion to go I with the do. petite flower? Because that's not the accordion we know. No, the yeah. big accordion. Yeah. Then if I if I could just explain the, the other the accordion I started with when I was a child, it would make me be like this. <laughs> And I would look like that Pope that left, the, you know, Pope Eggs Benedict, who said, oh, oh, Mickey, I can't do this no more. It's too hard. Oh, it's too hard. That's to right. Work. He had to quit. He couldn't be a Pope anymore. Oh, my you God. You can't do that. You do not quit being the Pope. You do not quit being I, the Pope. How hard is it? Oh, I, I bless you. Every Sunday, that's all you have to do. Just play. No, it's too hard. Okay. All right, so you're a little girl in Oak Park, Park Illinois. Illinois. You okay? So, uh, all right, are you funny right away? I mean, I'm, no, no, no. I was just, I was just uh, like, you know, playing the accordion and uh, you know had all these cute little dresses, you know. <laughs> of course you did. And um, and and anyway, and then uh, but then nobody heard me speak until I got into college. I was like, 17. oh come on, no, no, because. You can't hear yourself speak with seven brothers at the uh, table. Like, hey, Judy! What a, you, know, you can't hear anything. So I never heard myself speak until, yeah. I went, and then I go, ooh, uh, I, I was actually majoring in art, and my friend oh, Joyce sure. said, yeah. no, you need to be Come doing... roll up a little bit. Yeah, let's okay. roll up. Oh, I need the light! Go to the light! <laughs> go to the light! <laughs> Barbara told me, oh, Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> Oh, you gotta do share. Do oh. share, please. Oh. Wait, look at her Barbara. Oh. Oh. Look at her. Papa. Papa. Oh. Where's my daughter? Oh, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, no, now you have to do share. Oh, wait a minute. But I wanted to be a surprise. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh. Let, let it be a Well, if I could turn back to I would date a fetus. I love her. I do too. Okay, I and I know you have another one that I know about, and there's more, but we'll do those organically. They'll possess I, I, me. I, yeah, they'll possess. They possess okay, me. We never know. They'll possess you. Okay, so when you were alone in your room with your accordion, did you know? <laughs> did you? Did you have? When did you? When did you decide this is what I want to do? Okay, so originally I went to New York when I was like only twenty, and I thought, oh, oh, it's easy. I'll just go to New York like Goldie Hawn did. Yeah, not so easy. <laughs> not so easy. No. So but when did the bug hit you? I mean, what what made you want to do it? Oh well, I was already. Uh, you're talking about acting or this? Because this came a little after I started going to auditions, and I realized, wait a minute, there's five hundred people here. How am I going to get noticed? So I. I but just, wait, before you even auditioned, when did you decide I want to be on stage? I want to be an actor. Oh, oh, that yeah. was no, oh, definitely that was in in high school. That was definitely. Were you in school plays? No, that's no. well. Wait a minute, let me think. Uh, yes, I was. <gasps> A oh, funny thing happened on the way to your forum. Yeah, <laughs> I was in that one. Uh, all yeah. right. And so, did the, is that when the bug hit? It was before that. Yeah. Oh. No, I majored in theater at the University of Illinois, and um, uh, so yeah, I. So you weren't completely shy if you were doing that. Well, uh, yeah. When I started doing that, no. But you see, it's just like. You know, when I'm not doing that, when I'm just talking to you, it's like when I'm walking on the, down the street and somebody says, oh, hi, Judy. They're always surprised. Like, I don't say, hey, pig, kneel down. Because I don't want to get jumped on and smacked. I don't know. What, listen. You I met know. you in the real world and you were not like this at all. No, no. no yeah, you, yeah you were, I'm, I'm a giver, not a taker. Let's sing about it. You act so cool in front of your friends. But when we're alone, I have to change your defense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. All of my exes out there. Okay, that's, yeah, that's right. That's why. Date some older men? <laughs> well, now they are, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so okay, so you decide you want to do this. You go to the, you go to the University of Illinois. Are you performing? Are you doing stand yes, are yes. you doing oh, stand up? Oh, when, when you no, 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 no. I'm doing plays. Okay. And what happened was yeah. I would be backstage and my and I would keep I like to imitate people. So the teacher would speak, you know, our, uh, and I then I started imitating and and oh, um God. the other yeah, the other kids are like Judy, you're gonna make us laugh. We're gonna get in trouble. Could you please just go do your own act? That's what happened. Really, I swear. Just do your own act. You're driving us nuts. So, what, do you remember the first thing that you wrote? Like, when did oh. wait? When did you decide on this? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I always had a flower in my hair. And here's always? what happened. Well, yeah, yeah I, I love flowers. It's, and it's just, it's I fabulous. just love them. It's you. And, and, uh, and my accordion, here's the, ever since I was a kid, I played it. Then I put it away when I was like 12. And then when I got my own apartment my, and my mom said, I, my mom had the, oh, mom and dad had accordion. Yeah. They, they held on to, I call her baby Judy. <laughs> They held on to baby G, and and uh, I said, Mom, okay, I am finally getting a, a, an apartment. Well, you're taking baby Judy. I go, no, Mom, I don't have room. I am. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be like a studio. I don't care. You're taking it with you. You're gonna need it. Oh my God, she always knew. So, she knew. Yeah, she said you're taking it with you. Wow. So then I'm at, I'm at my apartment. I started to. I go. You know, I yeah, I think I need to go on stage with. <laughs> Because my friend was over and I started saying, I thought, yeah. Oh. This was the first song I ever played in, in a show at the uh, Comedy Womb in Chicago. Oh my God. This is, now you have to remember, this was, uh, you know, a while 19, ago. yeah, 1980. So, you know, there was a little bit more. Um, I, I may not be politically correct right yeah. now, but please don't write in. Don't get mad at the goddess and don't complain to Vicky or Jason. They're not going to listen. They worship the goddess. I okay. worship the goddess. I, 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 would, I came on stage and, oh, you know I'm just a petite flower. I'll never forget the first time. Oh, I met a man. Oh, and he said to me, he said, Judy, 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 he had an accordion too. He said, I, I said Judy, oh my darling, please surrender. I'm just, this is going to be bad. I can't say it. Oh my darling, please surrender. I am just a Taco Bell. I will give you a love so tender. If you pull down my suspender, <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, I'm so embarrassed. That's a taco right. But they love it. They love. It. Yeah, well, this is 1980 in Chicago, wherever you know. Uh, so it was. Yeah. Like. Okay. So now, how how did you how did this persona how did this happen? Well, I I had the accordion. Right. I was always a petite flower. You know, I have many t uh, titles. Yeah, you know I, I yeah. know that. I'm the petite flower giver, goddess, fashion plate, saint, earth mother, hostess, gay show girl, buffer of foreheads, healer of hermaphrodites, blesser of bunions, queen of candy pants, and empress of Elvis impersonator, and the founder of Judyism, and the best Judy! <laughs> okay, so now, where did those, did those come one at a time, or did they all just come to no, you? No, no, no. I'll tell you how, how it happens. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was raised, maybe you can't tell, but um, I was raised Catholic because, hello, my parents had 30 kids. We're either going to be Mormon or Catholic, right? And, you know, I, I... Oh, by the way, speaking of... Donnie and Marie are great, aren't they? I just I, love I them. I watched two of your sets on there, and they, I had more you, were fun hit, you were hysterical with oh, them. I, I, we, I would laugh so hard. I liked when Marie, Marie would, like, feed me little things. I'd go, oh, my God, Marie! <laughs> anyway, it was so much fun. Um... But, but yes, I knew I was either, either Catholic or M Mormon. They have a lot of kids, right? Yes. So, um, anyway, so yeah. So parents loving, supportive, not oh, so much? Oh my God, they were so good. At first, I said, I said to them, Mom and Dad, I am going to do my own act. Well, my mother said, you better earn some money. If you earn money, it's okay. So, um, otherwise, you're going to have to be a teacher. Oh, hell no! <laughs> I am not going to be a teacher. I don't know how to use a gun. Oh. Okay. Well, no. No, you. That, okay, yeah. nowadays, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I know what so, you're saying. Anyway, that's why I want to put this out there. The goddess will personally uh, uh, homeschool your kids so, so that they, they don't have to worry about being shot during English. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. It's horrible. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, no, but you know, it's, it's no, terrible. it's, it's it wasn't when we were growing up. We didn't have that. No, no. we didn't. Have, we, but we only had bomb drills when we were growing. Right? Yes. We yeah, but they never happened. Happened. But they did. That's right. Thank they God. happened they didn't happen. the war before we were born. Yeah. So anyway, um, 
So, so, okay, what was it? We're okay, going so, to, I'm talking about we're, we're, Okay, we're going to, so your mom said you just have to make money or else you have to be a teacher. And you're like, <laughs> hell no, I'm not going to be a teacher. Well, first of all, I mean, I'm more of a kid than they are. How am I going to teach them? <laughs> you know, so anyway, so, um, so yeah, I started getting work right away. And uh, my first big job, if I could say that. Yes. Where I, I, I was so excited. I got to open for Jay Leno in Atlanta at the punchline. <laughs> yes. And he's like, eh, Tanuta, how do you eat vegetables? Come on, let's eat some pizza. <laughs> he, you know, my favorite thing that he would do, you know, we're backstage at the Comedy Magic Club, and I swear to God, I will not, he's eating like chicken, just, and he, they're announcing him. He said, I go, Jay, you have to go. Ah, it's fine. I have heard that he has <laughs> never eaten a vegetable in his life. True. No, he doesn't. That he has never eaten a vegetable in his life. Not a vegetable, my husband used to write for him, that he doesn't ever. No, it's like, true. I, I, Well, <laughs> when I saw him, he never did. So I, And he's know. done every Sunday night at the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa, like, for 25 years. Yes. Like, he's a workaholic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's a workaholic. <laughs> da, 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 da. So yeah. Rick Smokey, the guy I was talking about from oh, this, is here and he's going, Oak, Oak Park, yay, very cool, because he's in Chicago, he's in Oh, Park. we love Oak he's Park. Our, he's in Addison, you know that is? Oh, of course yeah. I do, they're poor, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll work your way up to Oak Park. You know, no, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it's fine, by the way, live there. Um, I, I love it. Okay, so, hi, Rick. So, okay, hi, Rick. so... Yeah, and all these people are saying hi, Lynette, Robert, Brandon, Jan. You have look at your fans, oh, Robert, I love them. everybody, I love Jeffrey, you guys. Thomas, Wayne, Robert, oh, John, Robert. Debbie, Mary. Oh, oh yeah, they're all saying Mary Michael. Hi, Michael. Um, you know. All right, so we love them. Okay, so yeah. your so your mom says you just have to make money yeah, and then you're okay. So she like, sounds like my mom. Makes but, it, she was so cute. Yeah. Okay. So it was so great. I, I, oh, now, in the days of when I started, there was a place called Mr. Kelly's. Okay. Where, uh, believe it or not, um, Lenny Bruce played there. And, and oh also, um, um, uh, why am, uh, Freddie Prince. Wow. Yeah, yeah, all these guys. It was a big room. This was in, uh, it, in This Chicago? was in downtown Chicago, okay. where actually I started in downtown Chicago, not okay. in Oak Park, mm -hmm. but because um, they had all the clubs there, right? Of you course. know that's what they were doing. So and comedy was like a, oh, was, it was like a huge. Big, oh my God! Thanks to Tom Dreesen, I want to give a shout out to him. Uh, he's my Facebook friend. Maybe he's watching. Tom, 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 Tom brought me on oh, stage. Oh. The first, he was so great. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. So you know, encouraging and yeah. So how did you put together your first five minutes? I, I okay, so I was kind of scared to, yeah, go, hello. To, to be by myself, so I made my brother Bosco come up with me. <laughs> your, brother, Bosco. your brother Bosco? Well, actually, his name is John, but I call him John Bosco. And uh, and he was so cute. Uh, and, and I said, John, you have to come on stage with me because I'm a little scared. So we went up and we did something, you know, I, I, and, and Tom Dreesen was the, it was on his show. At the, it was called the, um, oh God, the pub. The, I don't know. I'll think it'll come to me. Okay. Because there were so many. Right. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that's where I got. Wait, started. so you brought Bosco up with you, and what'd you do? Oh well, okay. So because we grew up Catholic, I'm, I pretended like I was the Virgin Mary, and and he was Jesus. I don't know how. It's just because we were so. Calling. You didn't plan it. You just like did it. No, no, we had a practice. Oh, you had. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And we did it. And then I. And then I. And then my brother was really young. He was only seventeen. So I was like, oh, he, I can't take him out of school. So um, I, I started. I started to just go kind of on my own because I lived in Chicago so that I could be near all the clubs you know there was uh oh my god zany's sylvester's uh the comedy college uh by, by fields i love by so now did people get you right away um yes i but strangely enough you know it's it's like uh yeah, there was a lot of people that got me. Of course, there's going to be people who are like, what's going on? I didn't get it. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be that. But um, no, but, you know, yeah, I had a, I had a following. And you had, like, so you, you, you started doing this stuff right away. I wore prom gowns. I did. And I go, oh, look at my gown. You know, whatever. Um, by the way, Christ Christina... 
um, Guzman's back behind the camera, and I want to say yeah. hi to Christina. Hi, Christina. And Christina, Christina, sit, be comfortable, make yourself comfortable. Yes, and talk darling. to us. And Take talk a to us. Oh, yes. I can't read anything. Oh, but I, but I want you to be able to. Maybe, maybe we, sh we should give Christina the um, the iPad so she can read and sit and be comfy, oh, and then she can talk to. We're no, chasing without it. No, he doesn't need it because he's listening to you. He's looking. <laughs> he's look. He how can you look away from the I'm petite enraptured. flower? That's you can't right. look away from the petite flower. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Now I can concentrate. That's right. Now you can see. Look, you got, you got, you got, you got the stud puppet right at your, at your he's genuflecting right at you. I love I thought, it. I thought it was stud sickle. As, as well, there's also. different names. Yes. There's stud sickle and stud puppet. Stud puppet is a classic. And, uh, okay. well, classic yeah. Yeah. There's so many. All right. So, so you're doing, you're doing stand up in the clubs. Yes, and all over the clubs. You're making you're making some money. I'm making money, and I and I got known because you know back in 1979 and 80 there weren't very many female comics. No, there were not. Especially in Chicago, like who, who I'm else sure was there? there were a lot of uh, girls starting out, uh -huh. like in in LA. But what I learned was uh, I want to get I want to get my stuff down, you know, my Judaism down, because you want to you don't want to get slaughtered in California. You right. better know what you're doing, right? Was that the dream to go to California? Oh, New York? of course. Yes. No, no. But here's what happened. It was okay. great. Um, Wait. So who did you come up with? Who who was like in the clubs with you when you were? Oh, okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Emo Phillips, which who became like a very significant person. Yeah, and then and then of course uh, Stephen Wright. Right. Uh, he was a little before me. Um, uh, oh, Sam Kennison, I love. Oh, he was God. also a little before me. Oh. I loved that guy. I would laugh so hard. I can't stand it. Anyway, um, yeah, him and. Uh, that yeah, that's good. You gave us a few. Yeah, I, yeah. We, we, we have a point of reference now, but they, yeah. they were a little ahead of you, but. They were still around. Oh no, they were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I came. You know, maybe a few, a year after Stephen, and then, I, you know, after uh, Sam. Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Had Sam already done his Rodney Dangerfield special? Uh, uh let me think. Let me think. If that was in eighty. No. Yeah. No. That's before. Because I don't think the Rodney. Yeah, thing but was you didn't eight. see me on TV until I did. Letterman wait. in 80, 86, and then I did Joan Rivers. Wait, Joan wait, Rivers, wait, we, wait, can I just say, yes. thank God for Joan Rivers. I watched Joan there woman, today. She, as soon as I did her show, she said, you're coming back, Judy, you're coming back. <laughs> Melissa, get her a donut. Yeah. <laughs> she was good to you. She was the best. Oh, my God. And not only that, she was just, like, very generous. Um, she, How so? I said, well, like uh, backstage, first of all, it was like it's not even um, craft service. It's like a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Hello, she, she won't had... eat it, but she had it for right, everybody right. else. Right, oh, Julie, <laughs> help yourself. I go, oh, you just want me to take up the whole screen <laughs> so we can look like the number ten. I'm zero and you're one. I'm not doing it. Yeah, no, no, no. So, um, no, we had we had a lot of fun. I did did her all of her talk shows anyway yeah, yeah. so and yeah she really helped me but ladies of the wasn't ladies of the night the first thing yes 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 but let me explain okay. first i did joan then i got oh. i got this great uh manager in new york winston i will mm -hmm. give a shout out to winston very nice hi winston, winston simone and um and and, and and yes he uh i, ca I came to new york mm -hmm. and um and he uh made sure oh other comics, I have to thank Richard Belzer Aww. because mm -hmm. I was at Caroline's in New York, and that you know, like in it, it was '86, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, he he knew who I was. I mm -hmm. was just getting known. He goes, "Hey, Jude, do you want to come up and do some time?" I go, "But it's your show. So what? You could come up and do some time." Oh, I know. And then I went up and did really well. So then Caroline booked me. Then. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Is this when it was at the seaport? No, before. It was before the it was seaport. A, yeah, it was remember. on. Yeah. It was on twenty eighth. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, it was, it was near. It was near the uh, where the wherever the Metropolitan Opera. I, yeah. Um, and then a little a little farther down. I don't know exactly. I got. I remember the original. I love yeah, 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 yeah. that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that one the best. That yeah. was my first. I oh. love that place. So um, yeah, I did. I I yeah. When I once I did that, then my manager two things happened at once right okay, okay. so i uh i got 
ladies of the night because you know they had they had Rita and Ellen and Paula who are compared to me pretty normal and <laughs> and they wanted they wanted one you know out there what is going on with her yeah and so it worked out it worked yeah, great it worked out. and I loved that uh, Martin Short was our MC I don't know if you remember but that was oh, great oh my god I love him. Yeah, he's, he's pretty fabulous. Oh yeah, he's pretty fabulous. So um, yeah, so that that happened first. Then once. So they, wait. Oh no. wait! I gotta tell you what happened. <laughs> oh my god! This is so exciting. Okay, tell. Okay, so that special came on mm -hmm. while I was I was on tour with George Carlin. Okay. Oh my God. So God, we're in New York City, staying at, the, and, and here's what I loved about it. He always said, Judy, we're staying in the best hotels. We would always goof around and do voices, because we like to do voices. Uh, hello? Because they're in my head. All right. So anyway, yeah, we would goof around and do voices. And, uh, and he, we had done a great show in New York. I forget, it was maybe near New Jersey, but I can't remember where. Okay. But it was a big, great audience. And um, was, was George... Did he, was he generous with you? Oh my God. He was. He Hi was, Kelly, yeah. Carlin. And of course, yo! <laughs> Kelly, we love you. Okay, so yeah, I mean, he was the best. Uh, yeah, I opened for him, and uh, and I don't want you to take that the wrong way! <laughs> Damn it! That means I went on before him. A nice little Catholic girl because you know, and I grew up on George Carlin. I, we, would, my brothers and I would die, die laughing at him, all, all the stuff he did. And yeah. you know, there were some others, but he was the main one. Anyway, yes. um, so so uh, yes, he was he was very. So how did you get that gig? How did you get to open for George Carlin? Okay, <laughs> I already had. I already. Where was I seen on something? And his manager got a hold of my manager and said. Hey, would you be interested in letting Judy open for George? I go, hello. So in other words, you have to ask. So in other words, George was a fan because that wouldn't have happened well, otherwise. I, well, yeah. he had to think yes. of something. That would not have happened otherwise. That's pretty. That's so pretty. So that great. was so cute. And yeah, no, it was beyond great. I remember the first night I was so scared, you know, uh, yeah. opening for him. But I was. Was uh, it was it huge venues? It, like pretty good, like the Westbury. You yeah, know, yeah, Westbury Music. Are, that kind yeah, of thing, yeah, these things are big places. Yeah, yeah. no, it was great. Um, and and I will never forget in Chicago. I forget the city, but my parents came and they got to meet him. Oh, uh, they were oh, so man. excited. Oh. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh. Yeah, they that was great. And um, and then um, no, he was terrific. So I opened for him a lot. Uh, and then he took me to uh, open for him in Vegas too. So. That's uh, and I have an announcement to make. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I know no. I go off in different directions. No, this no, is this, it's this all good. is big news. Okay. Let's go. I'm so excited. Oh. Tell us. I am going to get a star on the Las Vegas Walk of Stars oh, on my oh, birthday. Oh, on my birthday, November seventh. Be there, bitches. Uh, Be there. My brother lives wow. in Vegas. I'm sending him down. Uh, we'll, we'll have a big press and we're release. All Scorpios. That's oh, oh, Scorpio too. November uh, yeah, October 29th. And my brother's oh, November 10th. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I know November 7th. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I love that you're getting a star. Oh, you love it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Pick up the courtesy phone. <laughs> oh, I, like, I'm like, uh, are your parents coming? Well, they're in heaven. Oh. Or they're, they're not, no, well, they but they got they to see. They got oh, to see you they have a lot of success. A lot. They were. My dad was. My dad was the best. He's like Judy. I, I I was out playing golf, and how come all my golf mates knew you? I go. Well, I had a special dad, and that you know and he says they would putt and go. It can happen. And you know, my dad. So he really liked that because then they're, they're really nice to him because they don't want to mess with, with the petite flower dad. <laughs> you don't want so, to mess with so your parents got to see you win oh. the first American Comedy Award? Oh, yes, yes. She won, won the first we, American yes, Comedy Award. Yes, thank you so much, George Slaughter, for the American Comedy Awards. He was so great. Mm -hmm. He was a big, he, he always encouraged me as well. And I opened a few of the shows for him when I was on the shows. So that was great. Fantastic. And, then, and your parents got to see that. That, oh had, that my had God. to be huge for them. Oh, my God. Not just that. My mother came with me to be on the Joan Rivers show. What? 
Yes, yeah, she had a show with all the wacky women. It was Grace Grace Jones. Hello. Uh, can you do her? Wow. I, How do you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't get the voice quite. She's got that. Yeah. She's got a baritone. She's down so there, she, yeah. But she's something. She's great. And downtown Julie Brown was there. That's how I met her. Nice. And then, and then, um, yeah. And they, they With talked. The moms? That, well, first we came out okay. so everybody could see how nuts we were, and then you know <laughs> answer questions. Then our moms came out. Oh my God! Was your is your mom? Was she funny? Oh, she's so cute. She's oh. adorable. Yeah, she is funny. She was, uh, you know, it was so funny. She would meet other comedians, and she would go. She goes, "Oh, so when are you gonna do start doing comedy?" Uh, oh, so like to Sam Kinison or something. Oh, oh. I won't say to who, but oh. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, not to him. But um, yeah, it was funny. Um, um, so did you get? Do you think? What did your father do? My my dad. What, what I what I learned from my dad, he would always go around the house singing. Oh. He sang. He had a great voice. Oh my God! Should I do it? <laughs> yes. Sure. You have a little Polish song? Oh no. No. What did he do? No. Uh, no. He would go around singing all the musical. He would sing uh, a lot of. Uh, you, I, I know the millennials out there may not know who Gordon McRae was. Oh. But yeah. But what a great voice. Yes. And it's like yeah. uh, he would go around singing every day. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Yeah. Oklahoma. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, we go around the house singing all that stuff. And, um, yeah, so that helped me with the vocal stuff. But what did he do? What was his occupation? Oh, well. Was it like normal? Oh, oh. I will tell you what he did for the goddess. <gasps> My parents had a building. So, uh, they bought a building. Okay. So each of us could have a little apartment. Isn't that sweet? Wow. And wow. I, I had an apartment, at, but I was living, I was going on the road all the time. So... And I said, Mom, I, I need a closet. I don't have a closet. So one day, I knew, I remembered I went to Denver to do a show. I come back. I need a and there's closet. A, this is the best. My, my dad, uh, it was Christmas. And there's a, I go downstairs, and there's this big, beautiful closet with a giant red bow on it. And my dad made it. So that I could have all my clothes organized. In those days, I didn't have that many clothes. But, you know. Enough for, and isn't that sweet? Yeah, That's so he really would build sweet. things. Yeah, he built things all That's time. really sweet. He was the builder! <laughs> Caesar! I'm the daughter of Caesar! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, you have something? Who? Yeah. No. Robert Owen. Yeah. I'd like to know if Judy would play a gospel song on your accordion. A gospel Ooh. according to the goddess? A gospel <laughs> accordion to Judy? A gospel song? Uh, um, are they confusing me with, uh, uh, you know, what was her name? Tammy with the... Oh, I think oh, oh yeah. Uh, Tammy Faye Baker? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not so much. Here's my gospel yeah. song. <laughs> So, so, so you're you're opening for George Carlin. Oh my God! How do you get TV? Okay, yeah. so um, that's no before, oh, before. just before okay. that. Yeah. My manager said you're gonna be on Women of the Night, and it's gonna be with, and they're gonna film it in. Uh, we filmed it. Oh God, this was so great. We filmed it in Los Angeles. Now you know I was living in New York. I was a big New York. I go. Ah! And my manager's like, no, Judy, we're doing the special there. You got to go. So then, of course, as soon as I get here, I love it, you know. Hard not to love. It's, I mean, hello. The weather's always great. I don't even know why we have weathermen. Partly chance that there will be a sky. That's all. Nothing changes. We have no rain. It's always sunny, right? It always. Is. always. Beautiful. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, uh, so you come out to Los 
Los Angeles. They come out to L.A. to do the special. Okay. All right. But I had been living in New York and coming back to Chicago a lot because that was my hometown. So I'd go be between. So you're you're making you're making a living as a, you're a comic. Oh, yeah. oh God, yes. Yeah. Oh no, I was making a living like a lot of money. Even when I started opening for Jay Leno and whatever, but I was very good. I didn't put it up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> You know, some people like to do that. I'm not. I'm not naming. I. I don't know anybody who did that. Really. No, but. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Did you, did you never have a substance issue at all? Like no, no alcohol, no. Frosting. I love <laughs> frosting. From the ages of 12 to 16, I lived on frosting. My brothers really? loved. Oh yeah, they mm. loved me because I. I would never. I go, Steve, eat this pork chop. And, and then he would give me his cupcake. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I. Yeah. You and Jay must have gotten along great. Oh, but no, no. But then I got healthy. By the time I was opening for Jay, I go, he goes, Absolutely. Let's go over. We were, we were in Atlanta. Want to go to Piggly Wiggly and get some? I go, Yeah, yeah. I want to get some chips. And stuff. So he likes chips. Okay. And I go, Well, I want to get a few veggies. Oh, no. And I go, Tanana, that's poison. <laughs> it was great. Anyway, okay, I, so you so you're out you're out here. Yes. you love it. Uh, no, I, you don't love no, it. No, 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 no. Uh, when I first did my special here, I didn't love it. I okay. still loved New York. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. That's okay. Yeah, he likes to be slapped. Absolutely. <laughs> no, he's sweet. So, um, and yeah, I like to. Uh, I, I was very still New York. I'm okay. very, I gotta be over there. I loved walking everywhere. What, what was Hello? your highest dream Hello. at that time? What, what, because you didn't say what Ellen said, I want TV. What What did you, you did a lot of, I, you did theater. You did. I did, I did, and I should have said I wanted to do a lot of TV, but I did, I did do TV. Yes, you did. You just, <clears throat> I learned, oh, uh, excuse me, the girls must have some water. So while she's getting water, is it who should we say hello to? Let's say hello to someone. Tara, David, Tara Pete, means the Hi, land. George. Hi, Chris Barnes. Hi, Bill Teffer. Hi, Curtis. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Hi Fifi. Hi, Norm. I'm so glad you tuned Norm, in. Norm wants to know um, about Elaine Boozler. Did you come up when Elaine came up? She she was a little before me, but in New York yeah. and in New York. Uh, yes, yes. She, she's from New York. Mm -hmm. She came up, and that's why on that show she. Um, you know, the thing about, uh, I'm, uh, well, anyway, whatever. She started before I did. She was right. in here in the se uh, 70s mm -hmm. and, you know, She was yeah. a pioneer. Oh, yeah, she was yeah. a pioneer. Oh, my God. Yeah. She had, yeah. She, she had the raccoon hat and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, and then. No, she wouldn't because she's an, a, an animal activist. I know! No! I meant a fake raccoon hat, <laughs> not a real one. Tales of joy. For those of you who are animal oh, lovers and who isn't, her uh, 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 Elaine has tales of joy and yeah. she raises a ton of money to help. Yes, rescue thank animals. you. But yes. you know, this is about Judy. <laughs> so, uh, hello. Let's focus. Uh, focus. I'm your best Judy. You are. Yeah. You're the, okay. So, 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 why did you want to be in New York? What did you want to do in New York that you no, couldn't do I, here? No, I, I was already. Well, I, I had a soft spot for New York because okay. that's where I got known, yes. and I got my special. Then we filmed it over here. Okay. Then, then uh, I I went back, and then yes, uh, the guy from uh, uh, Young and Rubicam, which was a, a huge. You know, they they called my manager about. Do you think she? Well, we were thinking of Judy for the Diet Dr Pepper commercials. Oh my God! Uh, so that I'm, was huge for you. Huge, 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 huge. I knew. Yeah, I, I knew. A lot of I knew. From I, Dr. Pepper. Yes. I, well, more importantly, it was the exposure to yeah. me. I'm, I care about that. Yes. So so I I knew I was getting famous when I'm back in Oak Park and I don't know how people found my number and I was just getting calls calls like yeah I don't know how they could find my number. Your yeah, I mean, these must were have been, strange your guys. Must have been just like, Oh, you know, you, and they do my lines from the commercials. <laughs> you can't get a body like mine in a bottle unless you push real hard. <laughs> no, those guys, they would call up and tell me my lines. Oh, I love it. It was the best. I love it. Was it was so great. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so that happened while you were still in New York. You got the, the Diet Dr. Pepper? Uh, I, I, yes, I was living in, yes. In fact, we filmed those in New York. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. And wonderful. so how was your life changing as people were starting to recognize you and do your, your stuff to you? Uh, 
<laughs> well, it was, I mean, you know, I would get recognized and I'd go, go to the airport and I don't know. You know was people, it fun? You know, oh, I love it. You know, I will never, my, see, I play a game with other, other people and I go, okay, what was your, um, what was your most unusual, uh, that, that you got recognized? It has to be by a, uh, someone who's not from this country. Oh. And someone who hardly, yeah. So this was my favorite. Okay. I was at the Newark Airport. I was starting. This was after my special. So I'm in line to check in, and there's this little boy. I would say he was like seven, and he was, he he was. I don't know if he was Somalian, whatever. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. And I'm thinking, oh, he's just a cute kid, isn't that sweet? Then he does this. Then he does. He just keeps looking at me, and he goes. <laughs> I mean, why? Oh. Do you know what that means? That's 500 points, honey. If a kid from Somalia recognizes you and goes like this. Oh, oh, oh my God. What broke, did you do? I just said, oh my God. You are an angel. But he didn't know what I was saying. He couldn't speak. Oh. But he knew. Oh, he just knew, but he didn't speak English. Oh. Uh, he, I think he could, you know, he was only seven. Right. But I was, oh my God, I, that was the best. That's that was really the, sweet. That's five thousand points. That's that's good. that's that's really. And you did you did the match game too? You you. Did oh, I have, love the match game. Oh yeah, that was in the late nineties. Yeah. That I had so much fun with Vicki Lawrence and uh, George uh, Her uh, George Harrison. Well, I love him too, but uh, George. George Hamilton. I would know that George Harrison was on oh, no, match he team. was not. He George oh, Hamilton. Oh, fabulous. We love George Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, my God. He is debonair. That's what he is. Who, uh, okay, so I'm skipping around. To, with, I'm going with you. Go I wherever. Go. So but tell me the people that made you starstruck in your life that you've gotten to meet that just, like, took your breath away or you were oh. so excited to meet them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got to do a show in, in New York, a lot of things in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1990, there was a show called, it's a big deal, it was called uh, Night of a Hundred Stars. Yeah. So this is the best part. I before you, you go into you, you know we we did it at Radio City Music Hall and all the stars start coming in and there's you know Susan Lucci uh, and it was so cute Luther Vandross who you know oh God what a voice and he says yeah. girl I'm just glad you ain't mad at me you know he <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he was joking around and Olivia Newton John she was so sweet she's oh. like oh T D I oh I I. Yeah, I I don't want to offend you. I go, oh my God, I worship you. I'm not kidding. Aww. I know, I know. I, yeah, she was the best. I, they were all like that. They were so fantastic. So it's like, yeah, Olivia Newton-John. That's pretty um, cool. Uh, who, they were all fantastic. Um, uh, Susan Lucci, who is like, she's this big, okay? <laughs> That's why she didn't win the Emmy. I mean, she she couldn't lift it up. <laughs> she didn't she win was, like 17 times. She couldn't lift it up. She is more petite than me. She, she, yeah, she really tiny. is yeah. a teeny weeny. Um, and and uh, let's see. Oh, so this was exciting. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite. I, you, you know, I don't know if you've ever been to the Radio City Music Hall, but backstage yes, is I so... In, yeah, but did, you never went backstage. No. Yet. So they have these huge elevators. So when you go into the elevator, because we were rehearsing for this, other stars go in there with you. Okay. Well, uh... Okay, but I wasn't expecting Walter Cronkite oh. and and Muhammad Ali oh my God. in the same elevator with me. Oh my God, I'm like this. I'm like this. Muhammad Ali was so funny. Was he? Well, wait, this is the best because, you know, Walter oh. Cronkite is in there with his wife. He's such a gentleman. He's not saying, and I'm like... Oh, oh God! I'm, like you know, I'm starstruck. I mean, I, I can't. Yeah. I, I can't. Is he big? Is I he? Is he tall? Uh, which one? Mohammed? Oh God! Yes. yes. He's, he's a big. Oh actor. my God! But he was so fun. So nobody was saying anything. And finally, I, I I want to be politically correct, but he actually said these words. Okay. Just to break the ice. Okay. Oh, I just thought I was. And you know, I'm not, I'm going to say the word. Say I, the. Uh, I'm going to say it in your ear and ask about. <laughs> oh my God. You know, like, 
It, on, it's my show. You can okay, say it. Okay, I'm going to tell because you these are the ones that she was quoting Muhammad Ali. Yeah. These are not Judy's words. <laughs> these are not my words. But this is how great Muhammad Ali. He was genuinely a natural comedian. He wow. was so damn yeah, funny. Yeah, I've, I've heard of him. Okay, heard of funny. so we're in the elevator. He knew <laughs> that every. He knew what a big star he was, of course, and Walter Cronkite. And who could be more opposite sides of the spectrum, right? You got Walter Walter's Cronkite. Walter's a pretty serious guy. Yeah, and then yeah. you've got Muhammad Ali. I'm the greatest. And everybody's <laughs> in there, and Muhammad has like five bodyguards. We have no one. You know, well, in body, the body. elevator? Oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, he had these men around him. No, there were about two big guys. And and, and then. Wait, he, roll up. You're like going to go out the oh, window. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got to show and so you're like behind. I, got, I, need, I know. Okay. I just got so excited about Muhammad. Okay, Ali. so tell us the story. Oh my God! So we all get in this elevator. Mm -hmm. It's a huge elevator, mm -hmm. and here's Walter Cronkite, and then myself, and and his wife, and myself, and I. I brought my. Uh, I they, you were allowed to bring a guest, so I brought my sister and my brother, and they're in there. Yeah. And and then and then Muhammad and two big bodyguards. Nobody was saying anything, especially me, because I'm in awe of these two people. Right. So, you know, Muhammad just said, looks at Walter Cronkite and he goes, Did you just call me new? Oh. I, and I swear to God. And he looks at him, Walter Cronkite looks at him, and then Muhammad smiled and everybody burst out laughing. Oh my God. We, we, I, we left, was Walter but, nervous but at he, first? A millisecond, <laughs> and then he knew it was. It was. I. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. And then, of course, we got his autograph. Everybody got autographs. Everybody hugged. Aww, yeah, it was sweet. that. Oh, that's that's like you don't get better than well, that. Yeah, but I will. Than. I'm not topping it. <laughs> but I will say who else I got to meet. Okay. At that same event. Uh huh. Okay. So after I I finished, I don't know when this happened, but somehow. Uh, uh, Catherine Hepburn was there. Wait, what? Whoa. Yeah, Catherine Hepburn and James Jimmy Stewart. Oh my! Together, God. and 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 I'm like, oh, I can't talk. Oh my God! Yes, come up to me. <laughs> what what is it that you want? You know? <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, yeah. What did you, is it? And I go, oh my god, I can't, you know. And woo, woo. Did you talk to her? Well, yeah. I mean, I got to meet her for like a second, but you know, they were a little elderly, yes. so you don't want to. But oh my god, okay, what is that? That's like the epitome of film royalty. Oh my god, and what was and 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 what was James Stewart like? Oh. Did he still look good? He's so handsome. He, he, yeah, he loves, well, he, you know, very distinguished because yeah. he was older and yeah. tall. Yeah. Tall, yeah. tall. Yeah. And, um, but he, yeah, they were just, no, I mean, it, I, I only got to meet them just yeah, very briefly yeah, yeah. because, you know, they had to be protected because everybody was like, oh, yeah. oh, you know. But to me, the, oh, yeah, but, but to me, Muhammad Ali, that was. Yeah, that's amazing. kind of huge. Yeah. That's kind of huge. And he knew who you were, so that's. Well, he did then. <laughs> he found out real fast. <laughs> I'm out there going, yeah, pigs. <laughs> uh, so he found out real fast. But yeah, no, that was that's when I got really starstruck, I would say. Yeah. So, okay, so now your life is changing because, okay, so you do the Radio City Music Hall thing. Yeah. Then... That's later. Wait, that was later, right? That was I'm yeah, to get I got that. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was in 1990. So I okay, had so already you already had a big career. By yeah, then. I was already right. That's or they or else they wouldn't let me that, be on that. There you um, go. And yeah, and um, also. Uh, so you had your special. What oh, you I had two special. I had already had maybe three specials. I had I had uh, Women of the Night. Right. Then um, my next special was also for HBO. Mm -hmm. Which was um, we filmed it in at the oh at the Fillmore in in mm. San Francisco, and uh, that was what what was that called I don't know but it was just me that was just by me by myself, and then I did a, a, a Showtime special and then I would do things on Lifetime I remember once on Lifetime they had a special Valentine's show <laughs> and hosting it were okay uh, George Hamilton and Doctor Ruth. <laughs> And and I'm on there every once in a while saying all these crazy things. Anyway, so yeah. was Doctor. Did you, uh, I bet I she got a kick out of I you. I love. She was like, "Yes, hello, Judy." Yeah, she was this big. Yeah, she was great. She was great. And um, uh, yeah, so I had done all that, 
And then, um, and what year did you win your award, the American Comedy Award? That was uh, that was nineteen eighty eight. Uh, yeah. Okay, so or was it eighty seven? My album came out. My first album by this pigs <laughs> came out in nineteen eighty seven, and that was in July. And then when did they have the American Comedy Awards? Oh God. So I I might have been eighty seven. Okay. The first one. So yeah. now did now something like that does that change your life again? Uh, well, don't forget that. The money that. has to get better yeah, after that. Yeah, everything, because at that same time, mm -hmm. I had the Diet Dr. Pepper commercial, so it was all, woo, yeah. So, you're making all this money, you're having all this success, are you happy? Is life wonderful? Was I happy? <laughs> well, some, yeah! No, some people are not happy when they have well, success. Well, see, but I'm not, I'm not a, oh no, believe me, you're much happier with success. <laughs> Trust me. Here, I want to get. I want to clear this up now. You're much happier with success and money. And money. Yeah. Okay. Trust me. It's real nice when people come up to you and go, "Oh, I love you," and you know, hand you five dollars. It's great. No, they don't hand you five dollars. No, they don't. I. It's usually, and I get recognized by homeless people. Aww. I go, "How the hell do you know who I am?" I go, "Well, we had TVs once." <laughs> I, I know it's hysterical. It's, was anything like not fun? Was there anything that you had to do that you didn't? Uh, well, I, I just want to say, you know, in the live appearances, just uh, it just got harder after 9-11 to go on airplanes. <laughs> you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. But I, every city I would go to, once I get there, I enjoyed it. You know, yeah. I always had a great, yeah, I, a, a lot of fun. And so did you stay connected to the people that you came up with? Um, the comics you know, people you for some reason think that comics live all together. <laughs> we in the are, comedy condo. You know, I don't know if com people know, comedians are really loners. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to think of our material. We're not Now, some people aren't. Like Sam Kinison would be, he would think of his stuff with a whole group of people around him. Right. Having, okay, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know what they were having. <laughs> But, you know, he was different like that, you know, but I, I kind of have to think of it, you know, by myself and then be around people and, you know, try it like that. But, um, yeah, I, uh, so. So you and Emo, how, how did that happen? Like, well, we're, we were from the same town. Oh. Uh, so that's what happened. Yeah. So you knew, we, did you it's know each other because, before you came up? Oh God, we weren't famous then. No. But then as soon as we got famous, we didn't know each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. It's okay. It's all right. So anyway, but um, no, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, he, I lived in Oak Park. He lived in uh, Downers Grove. Anyway, but all the comedy clubs we would all do together, including, oh, and sometimes Arsenio was in town. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. Arsenio uh, did shows there. And I'm trying to think of who, anyway, um, but yeah, that was the main thing, and we would go do all. We do like four shows a night, like wow. Zanies, Byfields, uh, you know, the comedy. Uh, it's called the Comedy Showcase. Mm -hmm. Sylvester's. Oh my God, the Comedy Cottage, the Comedy. There was places all over. Yeah, comedy was everywhere in the eighties. Well, that yeah, in in the late in the late seventies and early, yeah. So okay, so then you start doing TV, and you're. You're Judy, and you're all the and you're doing you're doing all the talk shows, and and you're doing all this stuff, and so what what is life like now? After that, stop calling me! Damn it! I t you know how many times do I have to tell Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy, Jimmy, I can't wait to do our dance together and our singing, but you have to wait, honey. Can, can we turn the it's, damn thing I, on? I, I, I thought I had turned it off, remember? <laughs> you know, I'm Why was it ringing over here, too? Yeah. Oh, your oh, watch. You have the I watch. Have, I have, well, then why didn't I turn it off? We're going to do it right now. We're going to turn <laughs> You see, can turn I'm, off that from from here. Yeah, from I here. can. I can. Okay. Uh, let's let's do this. You're getting look. You're getting laughs. Everybody is laughing because <laughs> they know I don't know. I, I just am starting to learn social media. Hi. You know, I finally turned off my. 
yes. Yeah. Let's turn. Okay, now nobody can call. Okay. Duh. <laughs> See, because you know all of the devices are connected. I know. So even though I you turned that off, I didn't turn right. this off. So I'm getting a call from some <laughs> dildo. Oh, who oh, no. knows? The ghost did not say that. No, the ghost no. didn't say that. No. <laughs> who could have said it? Oh yeah, Sharon. Sharon Osbourne and Judy. You need to be with. You need to be with someone who loves you. You know. You know. You need to. Be, yeah, I love it. Anyway, I, that was a really. That was a really good Sharon Osbourne. That she possessed me. She possessed you. So, all right. So, is there love now in your life? Well, I. You know, I'm the love goddess. So I, know I you. Oh, To me, there's uh, all forms of love. First of all, I love meeting people. I love people. Okay. I. Uh, if you're talking. I, I don't want to go into. Did you do da, did you do, did you do dating apps? Did you do any of that? Have you ever done that? We'll do the what? Tinder, the Bumble, any of that? Oh, stuff? Oh, gross me no. out! <laughs> oh my God! No. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God! But I met a good friend on there. Did you? Yeah, I met a good friend. We didn't. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, and. And no, but I can't do that. I'm because you're the love goddess. Oh, that's right. You like, can't. Yeah. You can't. Excuse me. Yeah. So how do you meet people? So how do you meet people? Because I find that in LA, everybody's too cool for the room. Oh. It's impossible to meet men. Well, first of all, yeah, that's right. That's it, right. I, I think. I had a friend in Florida that told me, come down here. And I, I go, yeah, but I mean, you know. You have to live in Florida. I'm not going there. <laughs> my, my mom and dad, though, bless them, yeah. had a condo in, in West Palm Beach. So I would go down there a lot. I knew, I know everything about Florida. Anyway. Okay. But, yeah, no, I'm not living in Florida. No. No, too much humidity. But uh, it, what's interesting, because I'm, I'm on the apps, and as soon as I get out of L.A., my apps blow up. Oh. Like super, anywhere outside of LA, the apps blow up here. It's like they, you know, it's like, yeah. yeah. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. Too, and even but, if you match them, they don't talk to you. Or they talk uh, to you. No, it's all. Oh, about. you're talking about dating. I don't know yes. what that is. I did you know. <laughs> I really don't. It's like someone has to, this is how I look at it. You better come up to me and bow down and say, oh, God, it's, and that, that's the way it works. I'm not, not, hell no. <laughs> hell, all this crap. Yeah. My, my girlfriends were trying to, yeah, Judy, why don't you try being someone else online? Oh, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so does that ha so have, do you, have you had relationships with fans? Has that happened? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah, they, they know me. I don't know them. Right. When they meet me, they know me. Right. So then, you know. Then you're yeah. off to the races. Well, yeah. So, and is there somebody, is, do you have a significant other? I have something. You have something. But we're not, I don't right, like, I don't have like to, talk to about divulge. It. We don't have to We divulge. don't divulge. We don't divulge. Because the goddess wants everyone to know. I love you whether you're uh, a man or woman, gay or straight, black or white, uh, you know, uh, what am I leaving on, purple or orange, whatever you are. Because, you know, we all want the same things, right? We want someone who adores us, someone who is kind, someone who uh, uh, is rich, and <laughs> none of these we guys, want the wait, same and none of these guys should know each other. <laughs> so that's, that's why, yeah, that's why I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, so... Is there anything that you haven't done that you'd still love to do? Well, I'd like to have my own TV show. Excuse me, do I have to be a damn housewife and get a, a bum leg and take it off and hit you with it? Do I have to hit you with my leg? To get, did you see that one? I did, that was good. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit you with my leg. I don't know the story. Oh my God. What's the story? You're on the internet and I, you don't know... You know, I, you know, I don't know the Jason? housewives at all. Uh, Tell well, me. I don't watch it, but I saw that. I saw that. I go, oh my god, these ladies are nuts. And you know that they are. They are coached to. Uh, nobody watches TV unless there's drama, right? right. So you gotta have fights. They have makeup made up. So tell me the what happened with the foot. Well, I don't know she, about and that I forget which one it was, but she was a blonde. No offense, uh, because you all know secret, <laughs> secret, <laughs> secretly I am a blonde. And yeah. secretly I'm not. I'm not secretly I'm not. But yes, go ahead. Uh, nobody's really a blonde yeah. except for uh, uh, except for Tiger's first wife. That's it. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Um, 
But um, so 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 what happened on the housewives? What happened? Oh oh okay. So I'm watching. This was about what, what four years ago? Yeah, something like four or that. five years ago. Four or yeah. five years ago, and I never watched it, and it was all over Me the neither. news. That's why I'm. Oh shocked. wait a minute. This is that little one. What's her name? I that, don't that know. That little bulldog one. The well, bulldog. she had a she had an artificial <laughs> leg, and she got mad, of course. <laughs> At somebody, I don't. I, it was all a blur after okay. that. Yeah, she got mad at, at one of them, and she took off her leg and started hitting her with it. That was my thing. That was. That was my. Now, Do come you know on. about this, Christine? No, oh, no. oh, come on! Look I, it up. I, I know. I know nothing about this. We were Here's what I love. She has her own show. She's on the internet, <laughs> and she doesn't I know hitting you with an artificial leg. <laughs> I don't know where I've been. But I mean, that's how you get on TV, right, Jason? I have not hit anybody with my real life. Okay, so if you were gonna have, if you were gonna have your own, when when you have your own show, yeah, well, what's it gonna be? What do you want? Oh, uh, well, I'm working on something. Oh. Um, yes, and uh, and and well, I uh, in your best in your best. Uh, what is it? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I I I want to be. Because we're going to manifest it right okay, now. Okay, we're going to manifest it. Yes. We're going to manifest it. I'm the, um, uh, well, you know, now I have to sort of be a mom, even though I'm not a mom. Am I? I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. You Wait know a minute. That. If I not Jason, that you know of. <laughs> I, you don't take lines from other comics. <laughs> That's another comic's line. Is yes. It? Yes. It's oh. Carol Leifer's line. You don't say. <laughs> anyway. Um, but he but, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah but I know that. all of that. Yeah. So, because we have to. You and know, we love that. Carol. Carol's doing uh, women right. Come yeah, but, 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 yeah, but then, uh, like the other night on uh, America's Got Talent, yeah. I have my book called The Full Fronts of Tenuity. Uh -huh. And now, wait, I have to, I have to bring this to you. Full Fronts of Tenuity, yeah, I and, love it. And because in Hollywood, people never say what they mean. You know that. So I did the Hollywood to English Dictionary. <laughs> Yeah. So so Go ahead. and then I saw David Spade do that with the girl. Yeah, this is five years after my book. Oh but come it's, on. Uh, yeah. It's so it's things like look th this is so when he says, uh you my divorce is almost final. Yeah, that's code for he's married and broke. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, I read another one. Yeah, read one more. Uh, uh, another one. Oh, oh, I uh, I love the outdoors and basking in the sun for hours. Yeah, he sells oranges on the freeway. Okay, and this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Um, I uh, oh oh yeah oh I love you. You know how people come up to you all the time. Oh, I love your work. I love your work. That's our favorite here in L.A. Right? Yes. I love your work. That's code for I just saw your sex tape. <laughs> so th that's in the original Judy the. You have to Probably. go to women who write. You have a book. I do. Yes. I have two books. I have, The first one was The Power of Judaism. <laughs> and this one is Full Frontal to Nudity. But oh, yeah, I just wanted to, people know, because you know, I don't know how things get out there, but it was here first. Okay, so now, all right, so tell us what the show, because we're, we're manifesting right now for Netflix or Amazon. What's the show? What's the Judy to Nudity show? I want to be Octo Judy. I want to have eight kids. No, no. <laughs> Do you no. want a sitcom? Is that what you want? You, well, a, or a reality show is good, too. Okay. I love it. Okay. Uh, but it, it's got to be, you know, I, I, I always had, oh, there was an idea to be the love goddess boat. The love goddess <laughs> The love goddess mm -hmm. boat. The love goddess boat. I mean, come on, that would be fun. And I'm, yeah, I'm performing marriages on the uh, boat, the love boat, and love goddess boat. Love goddess. Boat. And then I have my love puppets who are helping, attending me, saying, "Oh goddess, you have to marry them. Oh goddess, you have to break up this fight. He's killing him. You know, whatever." And um, and that and, could happen. That could happen. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Or, uh, uh, you know, something, yeah, something like that. That's that's a crazy one, though. Okay. That's a little, don't you think? I don't know. Uh, it's uh, uh, The Love Goddess Boat, is, uh, it's kind of fun. I kind of like it. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of yeah. crazy. And then, I, and then the other one that I always liked, what was it? Um, I, I call it, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what, was, what was Tim Allen's? Home Improvement. Uh, yeah, Home Improvement. Well, yeah, something... 
But I can't. With tools? You want I, tool time? No, I can't. I, what are you talking about, James? <laughs> my dad is home improvement. He's the one that built my closet. No. Well, you brought up home improvement. Why do you say home I improvement? Have, so I, what? No, I'm sorry because I don't know. I just thought it was good. No. Oh. Okay. Anyway. But. And Ross Mark, our friend Ross Mark, uh, just directed Tim Allen in his new show. And oh, they have something okay. coming out. Hi. Okay. We love that. But um, So so if you had a sitcom, are you, you're a mom of like eight kids? Well, I do you think, see I, that? I, I, no, I don't no. see that at all. No. I'm an aunt. I'm Aunt Judy. Okay. It's like Auntie Mame. Yes. You know, but I'm Auntie Judy. And, you know, and then my, because I do have nieces and nephews. In fact, that... You, you know, probably have a lot of them with all oh those Oh my God, and, and, yeah. and my nieces are like, I don't know why, they live in Chicago, but they talk like they're from Aunt Jenny. Oh my God, why'd you call us? You know, we only, we only text. Why'd you call? I go, because sometimes I like to hear voices besides the ones in our heads. Yeah, they, they're like, Aunt Jenny, oh my God. And they're like, no, my one, I go, Kati, her name is Kati. I go, what are you doing? She, you know, she's thumbing Her name is her, what? Uh, Kati. And she's, uh, you know, thumbing out of, you know. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I go, what the hell? Is that all you're going to do is tweet? She, You're just going to tweet all day? She goes, well, I could be president. Uh, you know, yeah, great. I know, I know. So she got me on that. But anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I would like to be, yeah, an, 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 an aunt, Auntie Judy. And, but, but, you know, it's all. You know, Whatever happens, we we have to yeah. solve problems, and I have to have a house, and maybe not. Yes, of course I do. I you have a house. You have a wonderful oh, house. Oh, thank you. You have a wonderful, well, fabulous house. You know, thank you. Thank you, HBO. Thank you, Showtime. <laughs> thank you, Women of the. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Pepper. Oh my oh, God! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and MTV, and I started out doing in in doing MTV really early. Like I, I want to say, yeah, I was doing MTV before I even got my specials. I got to do, uh, I did this thing, uh, my, uh, the Bible, something according to Elvis. So I would be, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. no, it's it's on the internet. Elvis I, on velvet. It, it was yeah, great. Crying yeah. Elvis on velvet. Yeah. So so. Okay, so coming up, you're getting a star on the Las Vegas Walk of Fame. Oh, my God. Okay. On your it's, birthday. On your on birthday. my birthday. Anything? November 7th. Worship the Judy. It's not here in Hollywood, but that'll be next. <laughs> but, but first, Las Vegas. Because I did a lot of shows in Vegas. You, you did know? a lot of shows in Vegas. I did lots of shows in Vegas. Um, so, anyway, yeah. And, and so, anything else coming up that, that we should look for? Uh, well, I, like I said, I'm working on, an, you know, an independent film, but I can't give oh, away. Oh, my God. And I'm going to be, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> an independent film is nice. That's yeah, good. Yeah, but it, but then it could be an independent film. Yeah. That, or like, it could be one that blows up. That blows up. That's like right. Like a bitch, blow, bitch project. Blair Bitch Project or whatever. It Blair was. Witch Project. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I thought I was talking about the housewives. That's the that's the Blair Bitch Project. Hey, how are you today? I hate you. All right, Judy, can you take us out with a song? Oh my God, yes. Oh, the time just flew. I know. I know it's crazy. Oh, okay. So here we go. Here we go. This is my. The world is going mental. You're get. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's the wrong. Okay, here we go. The world is going mental, you're getting kind of moody It's time to listen to me, the goddess Judy Cause I'm the queen of love, the princess of romance Shake it up, son, puppets, party in your pants Yeah, 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 party in your pants, party in your pants Never has there been such a sassy little dance You can do it anywhere, in any circumstance Have yourself a big fat party in your pants show with David Letterman and he is in town at the Wiltern this Saturday night if you're in LA doing the faux the fab faux which is his Beatles thing that he's been doing for years and they're going to be playing the whole white album and I'll be there so I'll see you there maybe Saturday night see you here next Wednesday thank you Jason thank you Christina thank you Judy oh come oh, in oh, for oh, a love Judy. oh <laughs> see you next week <laughs>